I think in the future, candidates like Trump who are able to capitalize on our outrage will have more success than people who move a little bit slower, who think a little more cautiously. If you think about some of his, like a John Kasich candidate, who have a much harder time uh, surviving and thriving in a period of social media affecting politics. So that's interesting. It could lead to good, it could lead to bad. I spent a ton of time on this in the context of Facebook. You know, I spent, I wrote 11,000 words with my writing partner, Fred Vogelstein, about what happened at Facebook in the last two years. And the short story is, in the spring of 2016, they were accused of having political bias. They're accused of being biased against Republicans. And they know they can't do that, right? They're supposed to be connecting the world. They're all Democrats, right? They're Silicon Valley Democrats. Sheryl Sandberg is going to go work in the Hillary Clinton administration. Besides Peter Thiel, basically everybody with any power at Facebook is a Democrat. And they were very worried, though, about political bias because they didn't want to be regulated. They know where power is. And so what they did is when they were accused of political bias, they basically stepped back and they stopped and they stopped doing anything. And the problem was at about that same time, this is May of 2016, where they're accused of having bias, where they you know, bring 17 Republicans out to, fa to Facebook to you know, have a meeting and break bread. Right about then is when we start to see a crisis with fake news, where we start to see stories where Macedonian teenagers or people even from Marin County realize that you can put stories online saying that the Pope has endorsed Donald Trump and it will get lots of traffic and drive attention and dollars. They don't even care who wins. They're just trying to monetize our outrage. Same time where the Russians started to really you know, use the platform. And Facebook put its head in the sand. And so that was one problem during the election. Facebook trying so hard to appear neutral that it actually didn't pay attention to the problems on the platform. The other problem, and it's a more core problem, is that Facebook's algorithm, again, like Twitter, is designed to get our attention, to spur outrage. If I put something on Facebook that says Donald Trump sucks, it will get lots of shares, likes, and, and it'll spread. If I say here's a complicated argument about why his net neutrality position is wrong, it won't go anywhere. Facebook's algorithm, because it's been tuned to our sort of emotional instincts, encourages that kind of, out, kind of outrage. And that, I think, is something that really helped Trump win. It also helped Obama win. It's not, it's not partisan. It's that candidates who develop strong emotional responses with their supporters have a much better time on social media platforms. And during the 2016 election, it was used by Trump better than anybody else before. And so Facebook since then has been grappling with that and dealing with that. I actually was out in Menlo Park yesterday meeting with eight of the executives who work on Newsfeed, the sort of the core algorithm that determines what we read inside of Facebook. And they are working hard. They understand that they can't be a place where misinformation spreads or misinformation is created. And they're trying hard to stop that. But it's baked deep in. And it's hard to unbake. And that is one of the great technological challenges is can Facebook fix itself? And it's one of the things I'm most interested in the world of tech. And will have a proud, profound effect on politics in this country. I mean, there is no question in my mind that social media is one of the main reasons why Donald Trump was elected. You know, again, I don't want to be partisan either, whether you like him or not, but it has a profound change in this country. And so these algorithms are at the core of one of the most important changes that happened in America, which was the election of Trump.